everybody, it's Thursday, March 29th, around 1 to 2 p.m. I'm just checking in with you. It's a little rainy today here in Toronto, but the daylight's great for painting. So I've begun to do a little more work, well, lots more work, on my raccoon painting. So today's color is a dark hunter green. So I've been adding more shades of green. And this is probably like the first coat of color I'm doing. Um, and I still have to add in the black stripes on his face. And this is my color station here. I use the flyers to mix my colors. I've actually done a few paintings like this where I use a lot of dark tones. Um, I'll show you here on my Facebook page. I have Facebook. If you want to add me, you can add me. Then you can ask me questions about my art and stuff. I'm an open book. Um, yeah, this is my Facebook page. See, Lisa Ng, Art Collectors by Sell and Trade. That's me right there. Done up has the Mona Lisa, but a furry Lisa because I'm out of pink fur. Oh, I should show you, I guess. That's worth showing. Yep, there I am. That's the Mona Lisa. That's when I had my older glasses, too. So I got new glasses since. Anyway, back to the dark tones of painting. So I've done monochromatic paintings before, like this one, Picasso's Blue Period. So it's a riff on Picasso's Blue Period, duh. <laughs> I, I took a bunch of Picasso elements from his paintings and I meshed them with my own. This is Picasso as a young man, there's a blue smurf. So, and that was done, what is this, 2010. So over the years, uh, I'll uh, revisit some interesting themes I have going on. So this is like Picasso's Rose Period pretty monochromatic. There's a pink dolphin. There's a pink rainbow with all pink tones. This guy right here is boy smoking a pipe straight from a Picasso painting. This is 2011. Moving on. Um, oh, yeah, there's an indigo painting. But there is one I wanted to show you. Oh my god, I've done so many paintings. This one, this is the purple lizard painting. See how it's all monochronic purple tones. I really like how I nailed the chair, the lamp and the table, and maybe it's like a pill bottle there. It's got like one eye source, ha, or two eye source, get it? Because it's coming from the eye. So this is the smaller raccoon painting. This painting is only one foot by one foot. And I wasn't able to cram as much detail in it. So I want to do something like this. But on a larger scale. And so in the larger painting. You see how the, the fridge is closed or whatever. But in the larger painting. I was able to open up the fridge some bit. And so I have some like vegetables or whatever spilling out and I was able to add something in the stove. Well, I'm still deciding what to put in this oven. If you have any ideas, let me know. And I've opened the cupboard somewhat. So he's going to be rummaging through the kitchen. I love working big because it really lets me add more to the story, more to the character, and it's just way more impressive in size. And what else? What else? Uh, oh, I also realized the other day I forgot to add my painting of Peeny Panda to my website. Here's my website. www.lisangart.com This painting has two, the 200 plus paintings of my career. It actually started with hand tree drawings. Cannibal paintings. Oh my god, it just goes on and on and on. So I realized the other day, like for every few months lately... I only put this website together since like a couple, two or three years ago when I realized it's getting really impossible to keep track of all my work. So I built a website, I manage it myself, it's wordpress.com. Because I'm a bit of a control freak when it comes to my art, I like to be able to touch and update anything I want at will. So from beginning to end, I like to, from like... 
I guess I consider myself a bit of an auteur. Like I like to be there from the beginning, the middle, and the end, and I like to have a say. I like to have pick all my choices and decisions. So I realized I'm missing a painting here. How do you even think of that? I don't know, but like every few months I'll think of hey, I'll be talking to somebody and I realized I remember that painting and I'll look for it on my website. I wanna see that painting again and I'm just oh my god, it's not there, so which painting am I talking about? It's my peony panda. It's of a peony flower in the shape of a panda. Here it is. That's her right there. Cute. Wow, I did this painting 2013. That was five years ago. It's funny how paintings just pop up like from nowhere from your like distant past and whatever reason. Something about it gets triggered again in your brain and you start thinking about it. These are the close-up shots of the painting. So today I think I might I might have to get around to updating my website later on. Hopefully soon. And I also paint the sides of my painting so you'll see that's like a peony on the side. Peonies remind me of my grandma because she used to say peonies always bloom in June when Lisa, it's her birthday in June. So when the peonies are blooming, my birthday is coming up. That's what she'd always say every June. And what else? I should also let you know, I'm part of the Spooky Astronauts Drawing Club. We are a drawing club based out of the Hamilton, Toronto area. And we have our own Facebook page and my space box, like it is exploding. Okay, so it's like me and my friends, we get together whenever we can, wherever we can. We get together and draw a bunch of stuff. Everybody comes with different skill levels. And um, I guess the most, the most prominent characters are Jim, my buddy Jim, he's the vice president. And then my buddy Jeff, he's Mr. President. And and there's a bunch of other people in well as well. Um, and we we ink them. Not everybody inks. Some people are better than others at inking, and then some other people are better than others at coloring. We color them on the computer, and then people just send it to me. And I I try to keep track of it. I catalog it online, you know. But it's again, it's also very hard to keep track of. When you're a prolific artist, it is impossible to keep track of everything you do. And there's plus stuff you get rid of too, like stuff you throw out or stuff you delete because you just don't think it's good enough or you think you can make something better. But anyway, oh, I should show you this uh, Spooky Astronauts Drawing Club. Here we go. Um. This is the new one. It's called Isolation Chamber. Um, I think I drew something on it, but I honestly can't remember what because everybody's drawings get jumbled. And I love how it's this. I don't know who colored it. I suspect it's Jim. But I love the muted pastels he used. I love this gradient going on. So these are colored digitally and they're just kind of like weird crazy joint drawings that a whole bunch of different people do. Spooky Astronauts Drawing Club. And we have a homepage. And now I want to find out how long we've been around because I can't remember. This is why it's so important to catalog when you're an artist and you're prolific. Uh, ooh, how when, founded 2010. Oh my God, it's been eight years. Eight years the club has been together. Um, and signing off, I'm the rogue leader. I didn't ask for that title. It was just given to me. I don't know, the club just kind of surrounded and just engulfed me. I didn't really know it was happening. And then one day I woke up and it just kicked out a life on its own. And then I got my email, it just gets slammed with all these drawings, color, and pictures to post. But it's all in good fun. It's like what they say when you're an artist, you put something out, but then you get like 10 times of stuff coming back at you. And that happens to me a lot. Like my apartment is filled with just stuff my art plus my friend's art and like prints and things yeah that's the life of a busy busy artist and yeah 
Um, if there's anything else you want to know about me or my life, feel free to ask. I'm trying to be more open and share my practice more because I get it. It's a fun, cool thing I do every day. And if people enjoy it, why not share it, right? It's nothing wrong with that. Kind of get out of your comfort zone a little, just a little. And I'm going to sign off now. I really want to get back to painting. It's been like about 12 hours. A little over 12 hours since I touched a paintbrush. So I'm getting a little antsy. So I'm going to do that. I will check in later. And see you later. Bye.